Hey, what's up guys? Louis Gall here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, no fancy intros or stuff like that today because I want to demo something. So we are in my computer. We are going to talk about KV Core, which is an amazing CRM. Um, CRM is something that really a lot of agents drop the ball on. They don't use it. They don't understand how to use it. They don't understand how powerful it can be. And KV Core is one of the most insane CRMs I've seen. Um, so we're going to do a series of digging into this. Today, we're going to talk about drip campaigns and how to set them up properly. Um, there are always ones that are built into the system, but what you'll find a lot of the time is that they're kind of trash and they're very generic and they're very non-specific and they don't kind of suit the way you talk, the way you word, the way you speak to clients and stuff like that. So I want to show you how to do some custom ones, um, how to set them all up, how they actually work inside of um, KV Core, and then show you how to add them on to a client. So let me minimize myself here. So when you get into KV Core, you're coming to marketing and then smart campaigns, which is where we are. Now, there's two things you need to know. This, the campaign is in my campaigns. That is what the whole campaign is going to be called and looked like. So when you're going to build a campaign, jump in plus add campaign. Now you can set triggers here. And this may be if a lead is brand new and just comes into the system from your website, you can click here. That's going to be a trigger and you can select a source. So if it came from uh, your sphere, if it came from Zillow, whatever it is, it would trigger this certain um, drip campaign. Or you can do it when the contact is transferred, maybe from another agent. Uh, you can do it when there's a certain hashtag associated to it or a specific date. You can trigger um, a lot of things for this or you can even add triggers for um, if they change to a uh, status. So it might be um, the status is uh, gone from uh, active lead to under contract. So it might be like you have a drip campaign set out for how to navigate the buying process, whatever that might be. So if you switch their status to that, it'll kick this drip in and it will start running straight away. So a lot of the times I like to have control over this. Um, there's a couple that I have triggers on, but a lot of the times I just say, I do not want to start a trigger. Always run, yes, locked, no, okay. And we're going to go next and then you're going to say who is it for so is it for a buyer a seller renter a vendor agent or all of them so we'll stick with buyer uh, for this one and then we're just going to call it a name so this one's going to be called buyer no show so this one that we're going to be building is going to be um for uh, we've set up an appointment with a new lead we've gone to meet them at a property or meet them at a coffee shop or whatever and they no showed which is always the worst but that's okay that just means that we're going to set them up to meet them again and you can type a description then you know this is made for buyers who no show for one year drip you know whatever um always run yes lock no next and then you just review it and then you go finish i've already built this so i'll just show you cancel that so this will bring it in and here we are, uh, buyer no-show campaign. Um, uh, initially, this will be uh, inactive like this, so it'll look exactly like this. Now, as you'll see, we don't know how to get in. And when you go to add action, what you're gonna see is you actually have to build out templates first, um, which is the easiest way to go. So add action, email, and you're gonna have to do it from a template, okay? So we're gonna have to backtrack a little minute here. So let's come back out here. So we've built the campaign. We know what it's gonna be. We know who it's for. We know who the target is. We know what triggers are gonna come up. Now we have to build out the templates. So you come over here and here we are. So you can build out email, text, a call reminder, a task or a webhook. Um, for this um, purpose, we're gonna build emails mostly for this one and I'll show you um, because if I type in no show right here, you'll see that I've already built um, all of these because I want to show you how to do it and I've got let's see up to 30 28 days um, that, that will go out here okay so what you're going to do you're going to come in and build a template so email template or text or whatever you want to do uh, I like email for no shows uh, because I'll be calling them as well template name no show day one 
let's just call it that, immediate send. Now, the, they don't see this, you see this. Subject is, sorry, we didn't connect or whatever. Thank you, spell check. And then you'll put in here uh, what you want to say. Just, hey, now here's what you want to be using. Um, because these people are going to be inside of your CRM as well uh, already. So you want to come over here, click this one that looks like a light. Um, we're going to come to lead first name. I always like to do that um, because this is obviously um, a template that's going to be built out so it can be used for a lot of things and a lot of people. So hey, first name. So sorry we didn't get to connect today. What day works best this week to reschedule or something like that okay so let me show you the actual email that i built out and you'll just uh and once that um once you've done that uh let me just move my little box here include signature i always like to do this you should have a signature built out in kv core and then add template and that'll do it right from there so let's close that one i'm going to move myself up to the corner here um, and I'll show you, here we go, buyer no show, day one, email one. Now, that is something that you should be doing here. When you're going to build out a long um, campaign, I always like to have the day and what number of contact it is. And I'll show you why in a minute here, but that's kind of important uh, to do. So this one, got group, that's my group, buyer no show, day one, email one. Subject, rescheduling our appointment, question mark. Hey, first name, I want to reach out in regards to our missed appointment. Is everything okay? Question mark. Because you know, you never know why they no show that hopefully they didn't get into a, like an accident or something like that. Is everything okay? Would you like to reschedule another time to meet? Is there anything you need? Please feel free to reach out anytime. Sincerely, my signature right there. So nothing pushy, nothing like, hey, why didn't you show up? You know, not like that at all. Giving them the benefit of the doubt uh, and going from there. So obviously language, you guys, would 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 usually use with clients so you would save that template and come down and then you would build out all of these so um these are all built out right now now i'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do from here so we're going to go back in now to my campaigns buyer no show and now we're going to add an action and it's going to be that email. So to get that email again, I'm going to go, um, this is just now for the uh, campaign. So I'm just going to go uh, day one, email one. That's all I need to know. And if I go to my templates, I'm going to type in no show. And this is the first one that comes up, buyer no show, day one, email one. That's what I'm looking for. It's coming from agent, that's me, to the contact, that is the buyer. And I'm going to run that immediately, okay? Uh, and I'm going to show you what to do with the next one. So I'm going to run that immediately. Otherwise, you can select what you want to do. So you might want to set it for minutes, hours, or days. And you might want to do it for day, you know, two days later or whatever that might be, okay? But for us, right now in this uh, scenario, we are going to run that immediately. I'm going to add that in. Boom, and there we go. So immediately, that is gonna run the day one email one, and it's gonna run like that. And you can preview what that looks like, and go from there. That isn't actually what it's gonna look like. It looks kinda of nicer than that. I don't know why it shows up like that. Anyway, all good. Okay, so let's add in our second drip. We're gonna look at the template, because I can't remember what day I do now. So we got day four, seven, uh, oh, that's seller no show. So day one, duh, 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 duh. here we go. Day four. So buyer no show. Day four, email two. So let's just type in day four, email two. And again, agent to contact. Now here's what you have to do here, guys. I'm going to click this days, and it's going to be day number four, and that's going to be four days after the immediate action. Okay. So day four, that's what's happening, all right? So you have to time these out strategically and I can show you how to do those obviously on a different video. And we're gonna build these all out. I'm not gonna do them all for kind of the sake of time on this video because you just can't see what I'm saying here. 
Um, Byron No Show, the next one is going to be day seven. All right, days seven, skadoosh. And we're obviously going to go day seven, email three, add. And that is going to do that. So you can see what we're doing here. We're building this up. Let me just jump into another campaign to show you how it looks when it's all said and done. So let me see. Let's do. Um, let me just I want to pull up one that you can see a bunch of stuff with. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, well, this is the seller no show. Okay, this is already built out. So here we go. This is a full seller no show. So, you know, or if a listing um, like kind of pushed you away or was like, oh, we can do it another time, whatever that might look like. So we're sending out an email immediately. Uh, I want to reach out and see if everything's okay. Then you've got uh, a call on day one. Okay, so that's going to remind me and put a notification for me to call that person. Day three is going to send an email. Day three, I want a call. Day six, I want an email call. Day 13, email call. Day 20, email call, email call, okay? So how do we actually put this into um, one of our clients? You just come to Smart CRM. And let's find, I'll just put my own name in here. Cause I test, you should do this. You should make your own profile in KV Core so you can test all of these. So let's click on this guy right here. And all you do, you can do this two ways. You can just uh, scroll down on the right hand side and add them to a campaign. So you would just go to add campaign. This is just loading right here. So add camp, oopsie, oopsie. Add campaign. I'm gonna search for that seller no show and then add. Boom, and then it runs straight away. So let me um, get rid of this buyer one so you guys can see all of this. And let's look, and it'll show me the future touch points. So the beautiful thing about the calls I do as well, I have the script all here. So when it says, hey, you need to call this person, I have the script, I know exactly what I'm gonna say now. I've done this a bunch, so I don't have to keep to the script, but at least I know. So for all the agents on my team, they have scripts. So if you're a brand new agent, it's like, okay, what do I say? Here's exactly what you say, and if they don't answer, here's a voicemail to leave. So it's really built out, totally done for you here, and this is the way you should be doing it. Seller, uh, call two, email two, call three, email three, call four, email four, and so on and so forth. And that's how you build out custom um, drip campaigns. Now, I always recommend to do this yourself. Like I said, the generic ones just aren't that great. Um, so that is how you do it. That's how you assign it to your clients. But the most important thing is actually following up because you'll see it's not just emails that I have in here, it's calls. And you have to be able to pick up the phone and make that call, all right? Too many agents are scared of making phone calls. Uh, they have internal fear of rejection. I do as well, but that's okay. So you need to make sure you pick up the phone because it works, it works, it works, it works. All right, so there you go. That was a tutorial for adding drip campaigns to KV Core, and I'm sure this is like the same way with every other CRM too, pretty much building it the same way. But this is KV Core. It's one of the most powerful CRMs. Uh, if you've never seen it before, let me know. I'm happy to kind of show you around. Uh, in our team, you get it for free, which is awesome. Usually it costs about 10 to 12,000 bucks a year. Um, so if you want some information on KV Core, or even if you want um, this exact um, campaign, reach out, let me know. I'm happy to share um, some campaigns or show you exactly how to do it or give you all the campaigns. We have about 40 different campaigns for our team that I've built out personally and they all get them um, as part of the team. So reach out if you have any questions. Hope you guys are doing great and we'll see you soon.